Hey guys, this is Science Made Easier, and today I'm going to show you how to find the molarity of a substance. So, molarity is defined as moles of solute over liters of solution. So, to find the molarity, we will need to know how many moles of the substance we have, and also how many liters we have. So, let's take a look at example one, which is a basic molarity problem to grasp the concept, and then we'll move on to a harder question. So example one says, suppose you add two moles of a solute dissolved in one liter of solution. What is the molarity? So let's break this down into a few simple steps. So number one, what you're going to want to do is find how many moles you have. So it says right here that you have two moles. And then step two, find how many liters you have. So right here it says you have one liter. So we're gonna write one liter. And then our third step is going to be to divide. Uh, since molarity is defined as moles of solute over liters of solution, you're gonna put your two moles over your one liter. So that will give you a molarity of two. Okay, so that's a pretty easy one. Let's move on to a uh, bit, bit of a harder one. So example four says, suppose you have 58.44 grams of sodium chloride and you dissolve it in exactly 500 milliliters of solution. What is the molarity? So what we're gonna wanna do is just use these exact same steps. So first, let's find out how many moles we have. So to do this, you'll need to convert from grams of sodium chloride to moles of sodium chloride. If you don't know how to convert, just click on the annotation and I will link a video explaining how to easily convert both ways. So let's find the molecular weight of sodium chloride on the periodic table and find how many moles we have. So if you check the weight of sodium chloride on the periodic table, you'll get a molecular weight of about 58.44. That is exactly how many grams you have, so you end up having exactly one mole. So you're given 58.44 grams of sodium chloride. There are 58 0.44 grams per mole of sodium chloride. So you're left with just one mole. So now you're going to want to find how many liters you have. Uh, right here it says we have 500 milliliters, which you should know is 0.5 liters. So now that we have our moles and our liters, step three, divide. So we're going to have one mole over 0.5 liters equals a molarity of two as well. So that's how you find the molarity uh, when you're given the solute and solution. Uh, I hope this video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys.